Hello everybody, my name is Gavin Thomas and today I will be informing you on how you can reduce the total cost of playing tennis. As you know, tennis can be a bit of a costly sport, so it's important that you can make the right choices when playing. So this is my speech and I hope you all enjoy. Preparation for a tennis match or any sport or any game is the most important part, hands down. Entering into a tennis facility, you know that, that, that you know you have been prepped for for months or even weeks gives you quite an ego. You tie your shoes, regrip your rackets, and start jump roping. You feel the nerves coming into you before you start going to play a game, but then you realize you forgot to string one of your rackets. So you're down to one racket and you're nervous because you don't wanna break that one racket. Otherwise, you you have to withdraw from the tournament. So that's not, a, that's not a good sign. So you wanna make sure you're fully prepared when going into a tournament or any game. This has happened to me many times when I've been playing a match and it's ended up having a toll on my performance. Like any sport, you want no room for error. You want to you want to be prepared when he headed into a big event or a big game. Recently, I've been learning how to string my own rackets. So things like this will not occur because most of the time when I when I when I don't get my racket strung, it's because it either takes too long to get my racket strung from a local business or a retail store or I'm too cheap to buy or too cheap to pay for my rackets to get strung. So it's, it's, it's so crucial that I have my, the ability to string my own rackets now. So, so stringing your own rackets can have a big time saver for you and they can, it can also reduce the overall cost of the sport tremendously. So today I would like to educate you on the steps to follow in order to cut your total expenses of playing tennis. So how exactly do you reduce the cost of playing tennis? Depending on where you buy your products from will determine if you, you drive your expenses up or down. Retail stores and, and local businesses will give you a slightly overpriced selection on their prices and of that product. So I highly recommend you to start shopping online at tennisexpress.com. This is a hand booklet that they give you. And recently I just bought a package from Tennis Express and I bought a bundle of 50 grips, a package of 40 feet of string and a pair of new Adidas shoes all for $133.20. That's that's ridiculous. If I went to Dick's or um, Academy, it would be $133 for a pair of new Adidas shoes. So, just shows you what you can what you can make on that. In addition, Tennis Express offers an accept and return and exchange on your on your unused products. So, if you have unused products, you can follow these directions. See, see if you can see that. Tennis Express Exchange, you just fill out this sheet and you send it back through that and you put the, the product back in the box and they'll send you a brand new one. So it's a good way to save some, save some money on that too. This is where you will want to buy a, a new tennis stringing machine if you are looking to start tennis and save some money while playing tennis. Tennis string machines will help you save time and they will they will help you not go bankrupt when playing the sport. Small businesses and retail stores will charge you an additional fifteen to twenty dollars on the service itself. So hypothetically say that you tell a business owner or at a local tennis shop that you want Luxalon ALU tennis string. On your racket, the cost of the string on 
Tennis Express is $18.95 and they add an additional 20 bucks for the service that takes about 20 minutes to do. Local businesses will add $20 to the additional $18.95. So if, you're, if you have your own streaming machine, you will be saving $20 every time you restream your racket. So that's over time, that's a lot of money, so. So now you're looking at a total of around $40 to get one racket strung. Now that you know why it's so crucial to have your own machine, it's time to jump into what machine to get. According to TennisExpress.com, for beginners and juniors, the appropriate machine to buy is a drop weight. That's what I have. I wanna see if you can see the drop weight. There's my drop weight right there. You can see that it has the tension bar right there. That's what I use to string up my rackets. The drop weight machine, actually, so you have to actually manually pull the tension. So it is a little bit more time consuming, but it's so worth it in the long run because you'll save so much money. The machine I use is Gamma Progression 200. And this is a drop weight machine. So, so for beginners and uh, juniors, this is a great machine. The machine, the machine is affordable. Um, it's cheap. It's it's one of the cheapest machines. You can get it for two hundred twenty nine ninety nine on TennisExpress.com. And most of the most of the machines that you're going to be looking at are from range from $800 to $1,500. So this is really, really on the low end. So it's a good, very good machine for when you're starting out. The Gamma Progression is a uh, clean pull tension. So you're gonna crank, crank the bar and then wrap it through the jaws and then pull it. And it, 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 it has a clean, a clean pull on it. So it's not gonna be too loose or too tight. Um, when you're doing it. Ten, uh, Tennis Express also offers free assistance on free assistance on on lessons for for getting your uh, racket strung. So if you're caught up in not knowing how to string, you can call up Tennis Express and they will they will they will answer you in probably in within the hour and they'll they'll charge you maybe 40 to $50 for a lesson. So it's not bad for, for what you can make in the time. So now that you have understand, now that you understand where to buy your machine and what is best suitable for your level of play, you will need to pick out a proper string that will benefit you when you first start. As I mentioned, Tennis Express offers a variety of string. Let me show you again in this little hand booklet where the string is. So, so you can see right here that they offer all types of string right here. And these range from high lowest to highest in price. So they got a bunch of variety. I think they even have more on their website. This is just a little basic hand booklet that I've found for visual aid. It's very important to note that when you buy the ex that when that when you start stringing you do not want to buy the expensive strings because if you start uh stringing your racket with expensive string you're going to run out of money cuz you're going to mess up. Let's be real. Like it's going to take a it's going to take a few few tries. It's going to take you about maybe 8 or 9 tries to get really good at it. So you want to make sure you start out with a cheap uh, string that you can just keep buying them because they get as low as like three dollars so the type of string you will be entirely up to you and your game of style so there are four main types of string you will be using natural gut polyester monte filament and synthetic gut. They all create, create different variations of spin, power, control, and durability. Natural gut is mo mostly used for um, power and uh, comfort and um, 
polyester is used mainly for um, durability and control. Synthetic gut is used, or multifilament is very similar to natural gut, which is, which is basically the same thing. So comfort and power and synthetic gut is very cheap string and it is it is used basically for durability it lasts a long time and it's also uh, let's it's also it's also yeah so it's it's durable but it doesn't create the best string that's why it's so cheap so now that you know that let's jump into the prices um Natural gut is the most expensive string. It it's used for pros and it ranges from ranges from like twenty five dollars to forty dollars. So it's it's on the high end. So is Montefilament. Montefilament is next in line twenty twenty high twenties to low forties. So it's a high level string. Polyester is next in line. It's ranges from fifteen dollars to thirty dollars. Not if you get the service done at a local store, it'll charge you forty dollars. So, and not, last but not least, synthetic gut, which is a lot cheaper and it's the cheapest string. You will want to use it when for, when you first start out. It's around four to ten dollars. I actually have some synthetic gut right here. You can see the synthetic gut. It's six ninety nine. This is this is a better better synthetic better synthetic gut, but it's still kind of kind of cheap and this one's for power i guess synthetic uh, yeah it's a control control mainly for control and durability also i have this is what i use this is the monte filament i usually use poly but monte filament was it was on a good deal on tennis express so this is a solid deal too so unfortunately it it did take me many tries to get good at stringing but tennis will offer you many ways to reduce the cost if you if you let it. Now that you have a base idea, you should be able to save money while playing tennis. Because tennis stringing is so strenuous, do not get discouraged when learning how to play. Trial and error is key. You want to never give up because it, it can be, like I said, it can be very strenuous. So don't give up. It's hard to understand that saving money is the key to happiness. So... So just like anything, you want to you want to reduce the cost of playing your sport while also having fun and being prepared for the sport. So this is my speech and I I hope you all enjoyed. So thanks again. Uh bye-bye.